This is Ted Harrison. He is one of Canada's most beloved artists. He's actually from England, but he moved to the Yukon and he loved the land and he loved the people. And he painted really, really colorful paintings and they're very distinctive. It's easy to pick his paintings out and they are a lot of fun to look at. So today we are going to create a really fun picture of a polar bear in a colorful landscape inspired by artist Ted, Ted Harrison. For this project, you need two sheets of white paper and a black crayon or a black permanent marker and draw just wavy lines and curved lines all across your paper. This is your landscape. You can either paint it or you can color it with marker. You can also color it with marker and paint over it with water so that it looks like paint. That's what I'm doing on this one. And you want to choose vibrant colors. Don't color it all green and then just the sky blue. Uh, be more inspired by the art of Ted Harrison. So blues and pinks and purples in each section, I'm doing a different color to make it nice and colorful. For your sky, get creative and have fun with it. I wanted to create some movement in my sky, so I have wavy lines and swirls, and I'm um, using blue and this raspberry color in my sky. You might do dash lines, think about how the northern, uh, northern sky would look, and then just paint over it with water if this is how you're doing yours. So you might be using regular watercolor paints, you might be just using marker and coloring really nice and neatly, or you can do like I am and paint over your marker to give it that nice blended look. Remember to wash your paintbrush in between each section so that you don't mix the colors up too much. On our second sheet of white paper, you will need a black crayon or a black permanent marker. Start by drawing your polar bear's nose in the very center of your page. It's just going to be a black upside down triangle. Color it in. And for the mouth, you're gonna draw one small line down from the middle and a little curved line attached to that. And now your snout, just draw an oval around your nose and your mouth add two little black eyes pretty close to that oval you just drew. I like to keep a little white spots left in my bear's eyes so it looks like they have a little shimmer there. Now you are going to draw a big upside down U, so a big curved line that goes all the way from the bottom of the paper over the top for the bear's head and all the way back down to the bottom. And then the arms are just like little hooks or little candy cane shapes. Make sure not to go all the way to the edge on the top of your little candy cane shape right there. And then draw three little pointy claws at the end of his paws. Next, we need to draw our little polar bear's ears. So two curved lines at the top of his head and then a little space in the middle colored in for the inside of his ears. And the last step on our polar bear is to add some texture lines. So polar bears are really furry and fuzzy, uh, but they are white. So we don't want to do too many of these little lines and make him look like he's a gray or a black bear. So just along the edges, I'm doing really nice and neat little bitty lines or dashes to give him form. So this makes him look a little bit more rounded and not so flat. And it also adds texture, so you can tell that he is a fuzzy little polar bear. And now we are ready to cut out our polar bear and glue him down to our beautiful landscape painting. I hope all my little artists enjoyed creating this fun and colorful landscape with a cute little polar bear. And I want to send a special thanks to Deep Space Sparkle for this great lesson idea.